Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Do you guys remember this device? The Cobb Access Port? If you don't, this is the device everyone in the Subaru community gave up on when Cobb released the green speed update. Now, my Legacy GT came with one, I just don't have a place to put it. So my plan for this video, and I don't know how long this is gonna take, but I wanna make myself my very own 3D printed Legacy GT vent mount. And it's gonna be a lot of work. Now this video is not gonna be a how-to. I will show little bits that I did here and there, but to be honest, I am not a pro at this. I am learning this as I go, so please do not take this as a how-to. Inside the car, if you're unaware, this is the vent I'm referring to, it's a defroster vent. This is the one that I replaced on my STI. Obviously, this is my legacy, but the idea is to basically have the access port mounted something like this. And from the sitting position, it's very clean. All the wiring runs through and under to your OBD2. Overall, I love the design. I think it's the best option when you're installing these. So can I set you down? I can set you guys down. Now I have already been working on this and the idea is to basically recreate this as a CAD model and make it out of a 3D printed part. However, it uses the Mach-V design. I really love this design. Hopefully Mach-V doesn't get angry with me doing this. I do love your guys' part. Uh, you guys just don't offer it for the Legacy GT. So I am going out of my way and trying to figure out how to make one. So to start this off, I'm gonna take a photo of the top view of the vent, transfer that over to the computer, and I'll go around and try to figure out the size of the actual vent. Spoiler, I've already did that. I have a bunch of different sizes that I've gone through and try to figure out how to get the correct size. Now, I did end up landing on one. Which one it is, I don't know. It's probably this one. I don't, I don't remember. It doesn't really matter that much. But I just kept this to show you guys that I have been prototyping and I've been trying to figure it out. Once I figured that out, I went ahead and I tried to figure out how I want to position the access port. I came down to two kind of angles and they look pretty much identical. The angle is different by like two degrees. I think this is the one I went with. I just found this angle is more towards the driver, which I preferred, but let me show you what I came up with. I'm pretty excited about it. I think it's awesome. Uh, I'm still learning a lot and there's still a lot more that I have to do to it. It is far from done. So let me show you guys that right now. I'm just gonna cut in quick. I was editing the video and realized how boring it was showing the process of all the different variations I made for the actual mount. So I'm just gonna go ahead, skip ahead towards like the end of it, show a little bit of printing maybe, and show you the install. Honestly, I tried watching it, I'm like, this is really boring. But that's all, back to the video. Believe it or not, I've made five versions of this, a lot more than I thought I would have made. Every single time I made little tweaks here and there, it's probably not enough to even notice on camera, but I'm pretty happy with version five. And I think it's the last one. Once this is installed, guys, I don't really recommend removing it. It is 3D printed, it's not molded, it's not the most durable thing in the world, but it's great for what it is, in my honest opinion. But installing it should be really simple as just kind of lining up the front and popping right in. And just like that, she is installed. I'm pulling on it a bit, it's not, oh, it did come out. So it is removable, but again, guys, I wouldn't really go hard on it. And actually, because it was so easy, I might add a little more material on the final version. But I mean, it is in there. I wouldn't be really worried about it coming out. Yeah, it takes a lot. Well, let's see. Uh, what I like about this version, when installing the access port, it actually goes in pretty easy. I thought it broke, but it didn't. Oh no, it did. <laughs> um, it did break. Wow, it didn't break earlier. Why did it break now? Hmm. <sighs> oh man, I still gotta work on that, but it did break. This one broke right here. I don't know if it was just the pressure. I don't know. But before earlier, I tested this and it didn't break. It was holding it pretty snug. It didn't really move much. Um, I don't know. I'm cheese now. I thought this was the one. It didn't break. Okay, I don't know if it broke or not. Uh, just looking at it quickly, it looks like it did not break even though it sounded like it did. I'm gonna go ahead and call this the final version because there's not really any more changes I have to make. I might, like I said, I might just add a little bit more material on the back end just to kind of help make sure it's snug in there. Uh, the whole size I'm happy with, the whole location I'm happy with, everything else I'm happy with. Um, I will test the defroster just to kind of see what the airflow is, but I think we'll be okay 
I think he'll be all right. I'm pretty happy about that. Next one will be an ABS, but I have a slight issue, which I will show you. So the reason why I cannot print this in ABS is because my ABS is this fat boy right here. Just to give you an idea, this is 3kg. That's one. It's pretty heavy. Um, so I'm just printing the stand right now. Once the stand is complete, I'll go ahead and hook it up to this and we can finally print this in ABS and the project will be done. Super excited guys. I think this is really sweet. Will you look at that? I have this fat boy finally up on a stand and printing. So the stand actually came out really bad. I'm not happy with the stand. As you can see, this the quality of it is not great. It has nothing to do with the designer. I think it's just the way I had the bed set up. I think the bed is a little off. Like center, it's pretty level, it's pretty good. As soon as you get to the outer edges, it's really not great. I don't know if I warped the bed or if I just didn't set it up right. I, I'm gonna go through and check the bed and make sure I can get it as level as possible. Because it is pretty frustrating. It'd be nice if I could print multiple things in one shot. So that sucks, but I will deal with it after this. I have work in the next 20-30 minutes, so I can't stick around and wait to see this thing done, unfortunately. But when I get back, I will for sure throw this in the car, get it fully installed, and show you guys the final fit and finish. Not bad, not bad. Everyone's asleep right now, but not bad. So I am tired of driving around the Legacy without the access port. And to be honest, I never drove around with it. So I'm excited to see this installed and have the access port working. Let's go ahead and throw it in. So let's just remove the one that I had in the car. I was just driving around seeing if I like the angle and all that. Should just pop out like so. Not very difficult at all. This is the PLA one. It's been doing very well. But let's go ahead, throw in the ABS one. Uh, before I fully install it, we are gonna have to drill a hole through right here. Uh, as you can see, there's not really a way to get the cords in there. My thought process is to just take the vent mount, lay it on the dash, and then just see where the hole is for the cords. Maybe take like a Sharpie or something, and then just mark down in here and then we could drill it out. Should be super easy, not too hard to do. So let me go ahead, drill that out and we can run the cords. It's really not too hard, just shoot it up and your access port is installed and all the wires are tucked and hidden. Let's get it done. I discovered a design flaw. So when you go to push the access port in, I did not account for the vent down here. Uh, I'm gonna see what it's gonna take to modify that vent in order to make it fit, because I do really like the look of this. I don't really want to change this. <laughs> Crap. Oh, I completely overlooked that. 100% I overlooked that. Well, that's something. What I did is behind the vent, wherever the cord is going, I don't know if you can see that, I cut the tab. So I cut that tab up there and I folded it back. And I cut this one and folded it back, just so when I go ahead and remove the access port, there's movement. You can see there's movement for the cable. Once we put the vent back in, 
it should work just as normal. That's the idea. Also, this is the PLA one that I last did. This is not the ABS one. The ABS one, when I went to pull it out, pretty well just crumbled apart. As you can see, even back here. I noticed very quickly with the ABS, it was not that flexible. I thought it was gonna be more flexible, it really wasn't. So I'm going to make a couple changes to the design. I'm going to print this infill 100%. Right now I think this one was about 30. Um, and basically what that means is the little gaps right there inside of the uh, part, that's what they refer to as like the infill. And it basically means how much you're filling in the actual part. It's a way to save plastic. Being that this is something that is going to see a little bit of abuse and a little bit of use, I don't want it to crack as easy as it just did. I don't know. I'm going to fill it with a crap ton of plastic, see what happens. Uh, for now though, I will go ahead and use the PLA one. Just because it is in there and it looks really good. And we have no cords hanging down, which is gorgeous. I'm so happy about that. For now, I'll go ahead and use it as this. And see how the PLA holds up. If the PLA holds up, I'll just keep it but right now the ABS is not looking too hot. So let me go ahead, button this up, do some more thinking, more tinkering around, see what I come up with. I don't know, at this point, the ABS is kind of looking like a dud. I'll be back, hopefully with better news. Well, I tried making a version of ABS that was 100% infill because I think I need that extra strength in order for it to last. This was the first one, and you might not be able to tell, but it's very warped. That's no good. So I added a brim or a skirt around the edge to kind of help keep it down. But it worked so well that it lifted the magnetic bed. So I think that's why this texture is like that. Uh, either I print another one on a glass bed, which I might do because I have, or I get a G10 uh, bed, which I don't know where to get one, but it would be very useful. It also took 12 hours to print, so <laughs> that's a lot of time printing for one part that's so small. But it's doable. I don't know, we'll see. I figure I might as well throw it in, give it a test try, see how it works and how it is inside the car. Before I print another one, go ahead and remove the PLA version. Honestly, it's usually not too bad to remove. ABS. You're kidding me. I barely even pushed that and it broke. I don't know. Unless I figure out something with the ABS, I'm done using ABS. It seems to be very fragile. You can barely put any pressure on it. So it's been about a week since I installed the ABS mount, and honestly, I've been loving it. I think it's really good, it's sweet, it's clean, it's OEM, it adds it adds to the car. It's like adding something to the car, but it's like meant to be there. It's really awesome. I'm super proud of the mount overall. I'm really happy I managed to figure out and design it and teach myself CAD, basically. It's crappy that I can't get it to actually hold and take the little bit of pressure and, and not crack. Now, I think it has to do with my print settings i'm thinking maybe i gotta print the abs a little bit hotter so i did order a full metal hot end and i did order enclosures so until that comes i'm not going to be printing anymore i did toy around with the idea of asa but since it's similar to abs i don't know if it's going to be as strong or equivalent or stronger i don't know if someone knows a better material maybe to use let me know um if you guys are interested in one and are wondering if i managed to create a vent mount that holds up and it does not crack uh, I'll update it in the description if it's not updated down there or if I don't make a new video about the vent mount just assume I didn't make something better that will not crack <laughs> but if it is updated let me know and I could get you guys one I could print it pretty easily and I could send it out to you guys uh, if you want to know how to reach me you can message me on Instagram that's probably the easiest way but yeah, I'm going to call a video, guys. I'm kind of burnt out from messing around with this. I'm just going to work on it every now and then, see if I can make a better version, but I'm not going to continue recording this. I'm burnt out. So that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and take it easy.